Tonight's lesson is on relating scale drawings to ratios and rates. We're going to use ratios to analyze if one figure is a scale drawing of another figure, and we're also going to use diagrams of proportional relationships to identify the constant of proportionality. First, I just want to make sure you understand what a scale drawing is. A scale drawing is a drawing in which all the lengths between points or figures in a drawing are reduced or enlarged proportional to the length of the actual picture. The constant of proportion a constant of proportionality exists between corresponding lengths of the two images. So I just want to make sure you understand um, the in the drawing the points or lengths in the drawing are proportional to the lengths of the actual picture. I just want to make sure that you understand what that means is that drawing over actual will be the same for any length or any width that you're looking at. So I just want to make sure that you understand and that will actually also give you your constant of proportionality. So let's look at an example. Celeste drew an outline of a building for a diagram she was making and then drew a second one mimicking her original drawing. State the coordinates of the vertices and fill in the table. I just want to make sure you understand what a vertice is. A vertice is just here, our corners of our diagram. So this is a vertice, this is a vertice, this is a vertice, that's a vertice. Those are our corners. So I need for you to go ahead and state the coordinates of the vertices and then fill in the table. So pause the video, try it out, come on back. All right, so for this one, 7, 18 is the coordinates of that vertice. This vertice looks like it's 13, 18. This vertice appears to be 7, 0, and this vertice is 13, 0. So the length, uh, or the, I'm sorry, the height of this outline of this building is 18. And the length for this building, 7 plus 6 more gets you to 13, so that length must be, thir or must be 6. You can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 squares over here. Okay, so now let's look at the smaller drawing. The vertice here is 7, 9. The vertice here is 10, 9. This vertice is 7, 0, and this vertice is 10, 0. So the height of this picture is 9, and the length is 1, 2, 3. The length there is 3. 7 to 10 is 3. All right, so the height of our original drawing was 18. The height of our second drawing was 9. The length of our original drawing was 6 and the length of our second drawing was three. So hopefully you worked that out okay. Now let's try to find the constant of proportionality if it exists. So again, we know that this is 18 and six. This picture, the height is nine and the length is three. So I need for you to go ahead, pause the video, see if you can find the constant of proportionality if it exists and then come on back. Okay, for our constant of proportionality, I just want to say 18 times what gets me to 9. 6 times what gets me to 3. Always you want the proportionality between your second drawing and your original. So we're going to do our second drawing or our image. Our second drawing or our image over our original. That'll get us our constant proportionality. So I'm going to go ahead and take my height of 9 in my second drawing and divide that by my height of 18 in my first drawing. So I can write this in simplest form. 9 divided by 9 gets us to 1. 18 divided by 9 gets us to 2. That's our constant of proportionality because 18 times 1 half gets us 9, 6 times 1 half 
gets us to 3. And so these sides are in proportion. If I take my original length, multiply by 1 half, I'll get my new length. If I take my original height, multiply by 1 half, I'll get the new height. So our constant of proportionality is 1 half. It is Celeste's reduced building outline a scale drawing of the first image? Explain why or why not. So I need for you to go ahead, pause the video, try it out, come on back. Yes, this is absolutely a scale drawing. Yes, it's a scale drawing. And the reason it's a scale drawing is because if you take your original image, the height, the length, and you multiply by one half, you will get the height, the length in your second drawing. And if you can multiply by this constant value every single time to get to the second drawing, you're good to go. You know you have a scale drawing. This is actually called a reduction because it's smaller. So scale drawings that are smaller than the original are called reductions. Reductions, the lengths in the scale drawing are smaller than those in the actual object. The an enlargement or a magnification, the lengths of the scale drawing are larger than the lengths in the actual object or picture. So for this example, I'd just like you to identify if the scale drawing is a reduction or an enlargement of the actual picture. So pause the video, try it out, come on back. That's definitely an enlargement. If the scale drawing is bigger than the original picture, it's called an enlargement. Let's take a look at another example. It says, use the graph provided to decide if the rectangular cakes are scale drawings of each other. And I give you the four vertices of cake one and the four vertices of cake two. You're going to decide if these are scale drawings. So you go ahead, pause the video, try it out, come on back. All right, so the first thing I would do is I would just plot cake one and then I plot cake two. So for cake one is five, three. So there we have five, three. Then it's five, five. Then we go all the way over to 11, five. And our last vertice is 11, three. So there we have our first cake pan. So that's cake one. Right now I'm just going to identify the length and the width. So the length for cake one, I can just say it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And that makes sense because five plus six gets us to 11. And now we'll check out the width. The width is one, two. The width is two and that makes sense because three plus two is five. So I have my length and my width for my first cake. Now let's take a look at the second cake. Our second cake is one, six. So that one's one, six. One, twelve. So we're going to go one, twelve. To the right one, up, twelve. Then we're going to go over thirteen and up twelve, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and up. 12, so that point should be 13, 12. And then finally 13, 6, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then right there would be 13, 6. Okay, so this is going to be our second cake pan. Of course, I'm not using straight edge, so it's not beautiful, but it'll have to do. Now I just want to figure out the length and the width of my second cake pan. So here for my length, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Length is twelve. Let's just see one plus twelve is thirteen, so that makes sense. Let's look at my width. One, two, three, four, Five, six. My width appears to be six. Six plus six is twelve, so that looks pretty good to me. 
So now I have to decide if these are scale drawings of one another. So I'm going to go ahead and do my, I'm going to call my original cake one. And then I'm going to call the blow up version my second drawing, my second cake pan. So you always do your image, so in this case your second drawing, over the original to see if we have a proportional relationship. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at my width here. So I'm going to need to look at my width, and then I'm going to in a moment look at my length. So for my second drawing, my width is 6 over the original drawing of a width of two. So this is the width of my second over the width of my original. And six divided by two is three. So I'm hoping my constant proportionality is three. Let's check it for the length. So then we would check the length of the second over the length of the original. So the length of my second one is 12. The length of my original is 6. 12 divided by 6 is actually 2. Because these values differ, there is no constant of proportionality. Therefore, these are not proportional. These are not scale drawings of one another. So no, not scale drawings. because length of second drawing to original are not in proportion. If they were proportional, see how you have 2 times 3 is 6? Here you'd have to do your length of 6 times 3 is 18. If it was going to be proportional, you would have to have your new cake pan being 18 by 6. So this is definitely not proportional. This is not a scale drawing of one another. How can you use proportional relationships to solve problems that involve scale drawings? So go ahead and try to do a nice write-up on that. Bring that to class tomorrow. Have a good night. Thanks.